गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सो विल सोशल विस्तार में इट्स श्योर श्योर या ओके डियर ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग I welcome you all for today's uh, live webinar that is on unlocking e-commerce potential, uh, build smarter online stores with a type of no-code AI solution. Uh, so before uh, stepping into the webinar, uh, let me give a brief introduction about uh, Atlee Incubation Center Coffee Board and uh, about today's uh, uh, speaker. Okay, so uh, AIC uh, AIC Coffee Board was uh, established in the year two thousand twenty-two. So sorry, 2020 at the Coffee Board, uh, in collaboration with the CCRI and Atal Innovation Mission. The primary objective of this incubation center is to support and nurture startups in the coffee sector, focusing on addressing critical challenges. We, as an incubation center, provide mentoring, uh, funding assistance, marketing support, and conduct capacity building activities to help startups scale up their business. as a part of these activities we organize various webinar series and uh, of which uh, we have today that is uh, uh, the market access uh, webinar series it is one among them uh, that is hosted today by uh, aic uh, ccri cd in a aim at equipping startups with insight strategies and connections to effectively penetrate and navigate target markets uh, so today uh, let me introduce our uh, uh, speakers for today uh that is mr triloshan parida uh, he is the visionary founder and uh, cto of typo and he is a a seasoned technologist driven by a passion for solving real world problems at scale growing up in uh, kolkata he balanced his studies with helping at his father's kirana stores instilling in him a strong work ethic and entrepreneurial spirit from an early age Despite having never touched a computer before, uh, pursuing his degree in computer science engineering, Trilochan's dedication and uh, curiosity led him to excel in the field. With a deep understanding of the challenges faced by small and medium-sized business in the e-commerce landscape, Trilochan co-founded Typeoff to simplify and uh, demo- democratize online commerce. His innovative mindset and technical expertise have been instrumental in developing Typeoff's AI. driven platform empowering businesses to thrive independently without relying on uh, external agencies or developers through type of trilochan continues to push the boundaries of technology making e-commerce accessible and manageable for all so i welcome you sir on behalf of atal incubation center coffee board uh, over to you sir thank you thank you so much uh, for giving me opportunity to speak is uh you know we can uh, discuss about more how we can go about e-commerce and selling online and it's not only india it's globally how can uh, go online and sell it's not only your website it's uh, i can say it's uh, every channel you want looking for you can sell online so we'll discuss how uh, the things are moving and uh, the current trends of e-commerce and i will help here Uh, like uh, the startups here to like how uh, they can sell online right so uh, first of all uh, good uh, good morning everyone uh, so uh, before starting i, I have a one question uh, excuse me <laughs> so yeah so uh, how many of you selling online currently or uh, willing to sell online can you uh, can you give me just a text uh so so it, it will be better idea for me to uh, proceed further i have a platform but i don't sell online but i do have my websites etc okay so it's it's just a uh, e-commerce website static website you are saying static yeah not dynamic okay okay great great anyone else okay divya santil yeah okay so uh, good uh, so i i'll go uh, let's uh, let me share my screen and let's present uh, what exactly we want to discuss now 
so i will go one by one uh, how we can go about e-commerce and how we can sell online and how uh, the typo can help so uh, this is the topic uh, so first of all we let's discuss about e-commerce trends i think you all uh, know about the trends i think uh, the you know the current market is completely uh, booming and you, you growing rapidly so 5 point if if i if you read here the 5.4 trillion uh, market right and not only that uh, so even you know no. it's obvious type hello yeah okay so uh, always we follow you know the west so so last decade was completely uh, the market for e-com globally but now it's india india's turn and everyone after covid know how to sell online right so this is how the current market is booming and i think this is the right time uh, where we can step forward and take it uh, all the products we are selling all the services we are selling to the online right uh, so that uh, globally we can expose our product and uh, sell more this is how the com complete e-commerce market is uh, growing and i can say every you know nowadays uh, reels and videos is completely uh, i can say so everyone consuming that even linkedin is uh, now recently launched their beta version of videos right so this is mobile commerce more uh, like everyone using how rapidly and you know easily and i can say that the quick commerce you have seen the uh, boom right so uh, blinkit and everyone blinkit uh, i can say jepto so everyone is selling online and quick commerce the commerce is is completely i can say the, the right time to uh, do business or your right time to sell online right so one more thing is how you can rapidly grow your e-commerce business i can say this is completely personalized experience you can provide right more i i 25 percent more if you give that personalized experience the personalized experience means it's completely uh like building your brand website or selling online that's building your uh you know online presence is it might be on a social media presence it might be your website it might be your uh, uh, store and social media like uh, uh, the, just like a platform like uh, amazon and different uh, quick commerce right Discuss about these trends then it's right time right then let's discuss about the challenges of startup so i would i would uh, love to ask so please uh, make it more interactive it's not a webinar where uh, we will just I will tell you the different uh, stories, but I would love to listen from you guys. Uh, let's uh, discuss about your challenges uh, in your startup, by how you are helping uh, like your buyer or uh, to uh, like you know reach their your customer to their uh, home. So I, I would love to listen from you guys. Any anyone uh, want to uh, uh, discuss about the challenges? Please unmute and we can discuss. So, uh, shall I continue? <laughs> uh, so, okay. So the uh, thing is, you know, when when we discuss about startups, a lot of uh, challenges on selling online, right? So uh, it's all about how we are reaching to our customer. First of all, that challenges is we are not up to mark in our online presence in social media. Then uh, many more challenges are there. Like we have established player, right? Uh, still we are struggling to uh, reach or struggling to uh, promote our brand to our customer so this is a high challenge i can say this is a high uh, highly uh, like uh, we, are, we are not able to make our product and a product market fit i if you understand the product market fit right so uh, we are not reaching to our customer so next is i have seen you know uh, i have i have been working with 
more than thousand customers they are mostly facing challenges on supply chain uh, like uh, logistic and supply chain because a lot of uh, brands are there but uh, they are not deliver the good product and good uh, like quality products to the customer because of supply chain and logistic right so this is one uh, challenges uh, which is completely i can understand that in indian market is very uh, you know rapidly growing but i think the solutions are coming up a lot of uh, good logistic companies like logistics ciprocket obviously ciprocket is somehow we have been uh, uh, like partnership with them uh, but uh, you know any customers are complaining about it but uh, i have seen a lot of other partners who are doing well in uh, this logistic and supply chain right and not only that when you you know building your website or uh, when you like going online on selling it's not only building a website is not enough it's it's always how you can give your better experience to your customer that is that is important and not only that and securing their data right uh, securing your uh, their data to your platform this is very important right so that's the challenges uh, i have i have seen to uh, like i have uh, spoken many customer and they are uh, like usually saying like uh, uh, my products are uh, copying from my website and someone selling uh, without like the same product and selling on instagram uh, a lot of frauds happen you know uh, they are uh, they are uh, selling uh, duplicate products lot of things are happening in instagram or different social media right so how you can do it in better way if you uh, like choosing a right platform to do that so i think that will be a better way to do and a type of somehow you know uh, helping customers to build their own uh, i can say the own uh, experience uh, for their customer how they can buy the particular product so that's how we are helping so uh, you know uh, the competition is I, i can say if if you have a better competition so we can help you with uh, seo because every brand you know nowadays focusing on the social media campaigns right uh, how you know uh, rapidly they can uh, capture the customer or acquire the customer but building a brand is long term journey it's not a short term right so you have to your website where all the keywords or all the products keywords should be optimized so that is called seo right so seo is more important nowadays because if you are building a brand for long term sustainable brand then you have to focus seo from day one i think i can say the day uh, like uh, the day one right so this is very important factor for any brand if you are building a uh, brand right uh, or if you are short term uh, brand you are building a short term brand then it's okay you just focus on campaign and uh, if if campaign stop then your brand stop right so i would say you should focus on your uh, keyword strategy or seo right then uh, if, if we discuss about uh, robust online how uh, online store right how you can build a robust online store as i mentioned you have to so website is completely is the first touch point for your customer right so you have to build such a that your customer will feel yeah this is a brand which care about our experience how we can buy from uh, like in a single click or uh, the simplicity uh, the simply they can buy right so this is how uh, you have to uh, like Uh, present your brand in front of your customer so it's completely depends on your uh, performance completely depends your how you design or how you give an experience to your customer so that's completely uh, you know that it's all about your online store or your website so next if we discuss how you know uh, yeah it's it's uh, done uh, uh, we will learn about uh, the challenges so we learn about the website building right how the robust online store we can make but you know as a seller is not enough to uh, build a website and focusing on a business right so i have seen many founders who are uh, good at sales or good at 
building products, not building a website or online store, right? So this is where no code comes. No code means it's you don't have to, you know, uh, physically or you don't have to hire any agency or you don't have to hire a developer to do that. You yourself as a seller, as a uh, product, uh, you know, owner, you can have that capability to uh, build a website or sell online. So that's how no code. No code means you don't have to uh, code for a website. You just, uh, I can say the, the way you are using your platform, like social media platform, just posting a images or posting a, uh, any video. Similarly, if you build your website, so that's how e-commerce or any no-code platform helps you, right? In that's uh, in that way, like it's simply drag and uh, drop interface, and you know, without uh, without uh, coding or without hiring a developer. So uh, I I would love to share uh, like how no-code helps in India. Like now many platforms are there, not only type of many platforms are there. They are saying, you know, uh, we are no code and uh, low code platform. But uh, if, if consider multiple WooCommerce or WordPress, then you have to hire an agency or developer to build a website. It's not easy uh, for a seller who are uh, selling online is they can build a website, right? It's 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 very coincidentally like someone is yeah uh, if if they have. Uh, technical knowledge they can build but most of the brands or most of the sellers are not able to do that and even if you are technically sound if you uh, can do it i would recommend you don't focus on building a website you focus on how you can go uh, you know different channel or sell online how your product should be uh, you know better so that your customer will love to buy right so that is your focus and that should be your focus right so that's uh, like i would say no code platform will be uh, as a tool where you easily can build your e-commerce website so yeah i'm i'm <laughs> so first thing now so can you help me to uh, like if anyone uh, have doubt we can discuss till now yeah anyone Aswin? Yes, sir. Uh, 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 thank you, sir. Uh, but uh, so, dear participants, uh, now we are open for the questions. So, is there any uh, questions from your end related to the type of, uh, or the services, what they are uh, providing? So, if anyone is interested uh, or if you have any queries related to that. B2B. I'm looking for a B2B. Does it support okay. the B2B platform? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so type of his supports, but I would love to uh, ask your current challenges uh, on selling or selling B two B even. So what are the challenges you are no, facing? I'm, Why you have created no, I'm, only? I'm preparing. Okay. Okay. I have a multiple ventures. So right now mm -hmm. they are working fine. I'm getting into another venture which requires the B two B platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. So does the yeah, type uh, of supports the B2B? Type of supports that. Type of supports B2B, B2C both. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, so you expect us to learn more about it on the programming side. Of course, it doesn't has the coding. So it has a front end developer to drag and drop. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. now I'm using yeah. the Wix. Right now I'm using the okay. Wix for my work. Yeah. Got it. So type of is more, uh, I can say, uh, more easy or more simpler than uh, Wix. And uh, you can have a better designing website. Uh, and, you know, uh, in type of you have, uh, I can say, the lot of things. Who gives or, the hosting uh, the services? Tools. Yeah, who, yeah. Who gives the hosting services? Where the data? So it's completely, it's completely taken care by type of. So they provide the you have services to, and data is yeah. stored on there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 
Okay. So we, we, yeah, mm -hmm. we are re using, you know, isolated database uh, structure where, you know, your data will be only in your server and completely uh, isolated from others, right? So it's completely so, safe. No, the hosting so, is provided by the typo, right? Exactly. Yeah. You so have to data, buy only your domain. Yeah. So the data also will be stored on the typos. Thing, See, right? a typo because B2. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. the typo is not only providing the platform it's hosting obviously that's platform is come up with hosting because uh, we are using multiple uh, service provider like AWS Azure right so secure hmm. your data because uh, nowadays even you know uh, recently Microsoft was down right so we are uh, that's why we are have we have our uh, server in a different uh, service provider cloud service provider right so it will be secure uh, as as compared to other platform even if you are high uh, like uh, buying any service from any uh, other services like hostinger or godaddy so it will be difficult to uh, secure right uh, so yeah the because... connectivity becomes a problem the front end and the back end of our exactly. data becomes exactly. a problem Okay, exactly. fine. Okay, yeah. 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 So, yeah, uh, so uh, let's continue then. So, uh, next is uh, like I have I've mentioned here, the, you know, type of is uh, uh, AI enabled, right? Uh, so, let's discuss how AI can help you as a startup. Uh, so, everyone knows how chat gpt works right <laughs> so uh, ai is now like i can say the everywhere so how as a startup you can get benefit from ai right so ai i would i would uh, like let me uh, share some uh, use cases where you can relate how ai can help you as a startup right so i would i would say uh, we have designed one tool where uh, if you upload one image or upload your product image, so where you can get all the title, SEO, SEO optimized title and uh, uh, your description, right? So for a particular uh, product you have uploaded. This is how uh, the one use case we have built. And the second one, I, I can say, uh, if we take an example of Amazon, Amazon is doing like the, the how you are, searching your product how you are uh, uh, like anywhere in a google or uh, any other platform if you have searched or uh, you are talking about that product google uh, you know you everyone know right our devices uh, listening us right so uh, that amazon suggests the particular product when you uh, go to the amazon right so that's how uh, that ai works in e-commerce, a lot of use cases are there. Like I can say, uh, if you are uh, giving more personalized experience to your customer, uh, where whatever they are looking for, or they are looking uh, in a different platform, when uh, uh, in the particular customer goes to your website, you can suggest particular product. So this is uh, the recommended product for, for you, right? So this is how, uh, you can build uh, your your platform right so currently a type of is completely helping uh, the customers or uh, sellers to build uh, like you know uh, generating their seo optimized uh, and human uh, you know some somehow we are entering the human uh, ex, uh, like experience to that particular uh, title and description so that google uh, easily uh, you know optimize your website so we are uh, doing that so not only uh, generating content uh, uh, so from your keywords or the products you are optimizing uh, you are also we are helping you know the from image you can uh, uh, generate your title and description so that uh, ai is completely uh, helping uh, in terms of generating content now and uh, in, in the future, we are building uh, the recommendation engine also. So where uh, 
your customer will get recommended products so as per their uh, requirement right so this is how ai helping now uh, in type of and i can say a lot of use cases many use cases are there where ai can uh, help uh, startups right and uh, yeah so this is uh, like how you can build your success uh, successful online store so i have uh, randomly written uh, some some points but a lot of uh, uh, use cases or a lot of points are there uh, i would say uh, responsive design right the first point i have written so responsive design means the design single design can be uh, for your desktop and it the same for your mobile right it's you don't have to spend multiple times for mobile design and for desktop design or tablet design so you you are building a platform or you are building a website where uh, everything like in a single uh, single design will uh, help your customer to buy or you know uh, navigate easily so that's how you, you can build a platform or a website right so nowadays building a website fancy website is easy but you know uh, loading fast and you are uh, giving better experience to your customer is very important is very very important because if your customer is uh, in a slow net or slow in, slow internet they always prefer your product will load fast okay so as as already uh, i have discussed also that secure your payment options or securing your website your uh, protect your data is very important so these these are the things which you have to take care while you are building your website right so i am not talking only talking about uh, type of even i i can help in terms of your uh, uh, you know marketing strategy your seo uh, uh, if you are looking for seo services even we are not providing still i can help you how you can go about it and how which uh, uh, you know uh, which service provider is best for you and which uh, like uh, wh what is the best time to take that service so uh, so it, it just helping startups uh, in their uh, online journey that's it right so you you can help uh, ask me any uh, question regarding building your website your digital marketing your uh, search engine optimization strategy so i can help in that terms so that you know as a startup you can grow and sell more so these are the strategy marketing strategy uh, for your online store so I, as as i mentioned this digital marketing so it's a very important to do it uh, so digital marketing comes under many things like uh, your seo your uh, you know social media marketing your email marketing so these these are the digital marketing but i would say if you are building long term business or you are you are looking for a uh, organic growth then seo is the best tool for you seo is not the dead it's completely working and it's it's more efficient now because you know uh, ai era or chat gpt era everyone asking a question if you have answer for that in your website your website will be optimized so that's how it works right so uh, in each page uh, on your website you should have a faq right so question answer question answer so that uh, if if anyone looking for any uh, service or looking for any product they can find easily on internet so that's how it's uh, like you know uh, the companies are working towards uh, optimizing their websites or uh, keywords then uh, creating engaging content is always a, a key point or key point to success i can say uh, uh, nowadays video is, is very important you can hire any influencer if you uh, are not comfortable to you know uh, shoot a video or editing videos you can hire a influencer or you can uh, post on different social media like instagram because this is very important nowadays everyone consuming that video content as i mentioned in the first so this is how uh, you you can build uh, the your you know content uh, uh, to optimize your uh, product or website so not only that you know nowadays even uh, more trust will build if you 
have some uh, reviews feedback on your website or particular product you are selling uh, in product page you should have that people will uh, you know uh, understand how uh, Uh, Mr. Tilochan, uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, we are not able to hear anything from your end. Mr. Tilochan? Mr. Tilochan? Uh, dear participants, uh, they, sorry for the, yeah, Mr. Tilosan, uh, yeah, are you able to hear us? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, actually, we lost uh, like uh, one or two minutes, actually. We are not able to hear anything from your end. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, let me, yeah. Right. Uh, no, sir, the slides are not visible. Not visible? No, sir. No, sir. Let's share again. Just a minute. Now is it visible? No, sir. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's loading now. It's loading, yes. Okay, okay. Not yet. Yes, sir. Visible, sir. Visible, now. visible, sir. Visible. Visible, no? okay, okay, okay. Uh, so I think uh, uh, let, so uh, we were discussing about marketing, uh, uh, like marketing strategy, right? So uh, as as mentioned, right, you have to create your own content, uh, right? So nowadays everything is uh, video, uh, but you still you know, write some blogs on your website so that it regularly help your customers to understand your product. Uh, so blog is important, uh, plus your videos, right? If you are not comfortable uh, to shoot or uh, build your uh, video, you can hire any influencer, you can, you know, uh, it's, it's influencer market marketing, I can say, it will be easy for any brand uh, because uh, nowadays influencers are uh, doing in a barter system so they uh, taking their pro your product uh, and you know you know uh, posting some videos about that product so similarly you can create content and this is very important not only that uh, building only video or uh, writing blog it will help you to grow i would say uh, you know user generated content like reviews uh, and testimonials will help uh, more right because when i'm buying some product i i will see the reviews first because this is uh, you know help us to know how the customer experiencing your product and not only that even nowadays uh, like type of event type of helps uh, your customer they can upload images uh, and videos also while you know they are once deliver the product they can 
upload any videos uh, like this is how the product and all about the product right so so you can collect those uh, user generated content so that people will uh, like when when uh, the single person will buying your product so they will uh, feel yeah uh, people are buying and enjoying this product and uh, that that's how you can build a trust right so this is very important for you or uh, any brand right then uh, is very uh, as i uh, discussed right you know uh, building a custom cosmetic brand or any uh, suppose cookies brand even so you if you go and ask some questions and uh, in in your website before buying right so so that that's how the interactive uh, system will be like your system will completely uh, understand how the customer are behaving or how the customers are looking for and some feedback any any feedback you can ask right so that's how you can create a quizzes poll like polls uh, you can create so just like a instagram polls right similarly the same experience you can provide to your uh, customer in your, on your website so this is this is how you know that the engagement and uh, continuous uh, interactive uh, session will be there so that the people or the uh, buyer can spend more time on our website right so this is how you can uh, give a better experience for your customer if uh, yeah so let's see the success stories of type of uh, like before discussing or you know so many many uh, startups are there where their main challenges i have seen or uh, you know we have or uh, discussing with many brands so their challenges is to create uh, that content uh, like video or plus you know uh, that type of platform who support interactive or engaging uh, uh, websites right so i think you you must have those experience or those uh, challenges or, or for your startup so yeah we can do that uh, type of can help to build that such like that type of interactive website where your customer will be engaging or you know many many uh, pages they will visit because that that's very interesting uh, things to explore then uh, if you discuss uh, we have multiple brands who uh, uh, use, who were using uh, shopify woocommerce wix right so they switched to type of because a lot of challenges they were facing just like uh, just sing style uh, one of brand who uh, like want to give customize uh, customized experience to their customer because it's completely different product it's uh, it's a not a regular uh, because they are selling turbans right turbans and uh, uh, beard care so uh, beard, uh, beard care products right this is not easy to sell because it's not uh, one product or you know that one item it's completely Uh, measured by meters and the complete experience is different for their customer so they switch to type of and they have grown uh, like whatever whatever the amount they are earning on shopify so now it's they are more forex uh, earning uh, in type of that's how they they have seen the so in before type of they are actually as i said right unique buying experience they they don't have that experience to give for their customer and you know uh, nowadays all the tools are it's completely dependent on agencies so any sellers can do it so you have to hire an agency and developer and uh, obviously that you know rto return to origin was high because there is no uh, tools to support that or optimize that so we have that tools to optimize your return to origin with a different method different uh, things you can do it like uh, we can discuss in details if uh, uh, the time allows right and then seo obviously type of is known for s uh, you don't have to do or uh, anything or external efforts for optimizing your store it's automatically happen or automatically system help you to grow right so yeah obviously these are the challenges they had and after type of uh, so they are prepared uh, like uh, cod uh, orders are very less now and they are getting more prepaid orders and confirmed orders i can say in shopify they were facing a lot of fake orders and fake customers but in type of they they are getting 
more uh, prepared and confirmed order and as you you can see that you know 45 percent uh, like is reduced cost so that's how type of is built right similarly another brand is uh, uchal fashion so th this this brand is from bangalore itself and they are selling sadis lehenga and salwar kameez right uh, so they are also challenging in a uh, lot of technical limitations because uh, other platforms has uh, a pre-built templates or anything so you can't customize your uh, store right so here type of they uh, they have uh, privilege to do that and we have helped them to uh, like uh, sell different countries with uh, in a single website right so they are selling uh, a good amount now so similarly uh, multiple brands we have uh, so i would love to uh, listen uh, from you guys if you have any questions uh, and we can discuss any challenges or any technical uh, questions if you uh, like you are struggling to do and if you have any problem and in any challenges we can discuss okay i have uh, two three questions sure sure ma'am uh now like if we in india we are like we get to search whatever the products are available in india just mm -hmm. like uh, amazon.in amazon.uk yeah. Amazon yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah so do we need to have a separate domain for if you want to make our international presence uh so it's uh, so it so it's completely depends you know the how much you are spending uh, you know completely different uh, country wise so i would say initial stage you can go for a single domain that is dot com rather dot uh, in if you are selling a multiple uh, countries right so that dot mm -hmm. com can help in all the countries and there is no barrier and like see uh, if you are as i mentioned right if you are uh, uh, organically if you want to organically grow and uh, that seo can help right seo as as type of uh, you know if you are searching from uk so uh, that different landing page for uk is there right if you see uh, multiple website uh, like dot com slash in that means it's for india right if you mm -hmm. uh, uh, the same domain with uh, folder uh, different folders dot uh, in dot uk so you can have those uh, infrastructure so that you can optimize your content accord uh, content country wise right the customer from uk will see a different landing page and customer from india will different uh, see different uh, landing page yeah, otherwise you can provide also get yeah. converted. currency also get converted exactly so. exactly so, so if uh, the provides that yeah, yeah. it is possible type of provides that like a my existing yeah. setup if someone is accessing my existing setup from france mm -hmm. so they get to see yeah. my pricing in the euro if someone is exactly in the US, yes. so that uh, is there uh, the that, uh, yeah yeah uh, as i uh, saw only one brand right uchal fashion uh, you can see uh, this brand is a single website or single domain but if you uh, browse from india so that will completely INR. if you brown uh, like if you uh, go europe or you change your ip uh, from like uh, so you can access those their uh, uk site or that euro site right it's completely different that uh, currencies and everything You are not audible, ma'am. Uh, you are on mute. The second question I have the payment payment provider because the yeah. India is a different and the international yeah. payment. So any light you can throw, which is like a smooth payment acceptor, like I'm using now, Skydo and all this thing. Mm -hmm. So which is mm -hmm. for the better for the yeah. international transaction. So see, uh, in type of we have options, you can connect. Uh, the cur uh, like payment gateways, uh, the currency wise. So for INR, you can connect Treasure Pay, uh, Phone Pay, uh, any any Indian uh, uh, payment gateway. Right. Uh, for different uh, foreign uh, currencies, you can connect uh, like 
multiple uh, as per your uh, as convenience. As per the like country, you have can... to connect to the different this one. Exactly, exactly. You can do that. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Third, like, I don't know if you will be able to answer this, but I'll ask it since I written. Yeah. Like, uh, international logistic partner, if you have any idea on that. Which will be the better? See, uh, currently, currently we are uh, like we have FedEx, uh, we have uh, DHL, yes. Blue Dot DHL, right? Uh, so for international, you can use uh, those uh, shipping partners. Like you can connect those uh, because many customers are using that uh, DHL and FedEx. I think that can help you to uh, ship. Okay, that helps me. Yeah. Because see, type of is. Uh, not only website, right? Uh, you you can have your complete solution, right? Uh, your customer will discover from website to you know deliver your product uh, through shipping partners. So all the integrations and everything, like which is completely needed for any brand, we are helping uh, with that. You you can do that. Like, I have a hands on. Thank you. Thank thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, hi, uh, this is Ashwin. Hi, yeah. Hi, Ashwin. Just wanted to know, like, uh, similar to that payment gateway, do you have the like option mm -hmm. to integrate with the logistics partner, like, uh, let's say, delivery or FedEx? Do you have the options mm -hmm. to integrate? Okay. So, uh, what the uh, possibility to integrate multiple uh, delivery partners, like FedEx delivery or? Uh, we we people? we have. We, we don't have any restrictions. Uh, you can connect uh, any number of logistic partner. So that means like, uh, do currently, we need to assign manually, like uh, suppose if I want to use delivery for this particular order. Yeah. So yeah. I, I want to assign yeah. to delivery. If not, I have to like, can we automate it? Like uh, depending on the, like maybe the pin code restriction so, or the price wise, all those things. Uh, uh, the pin code wise, there are many logic will come, right? But we have multiple uh, connections. You can uh, have an number of uh, uh, shipping partners. But uh, so even if you, you want to automate, so it's automatically like you know on that customization can be possible. So basically, the depending on the courier charges, uh, like if yeah. delivery is charging less amount, automatically it should assign to delivery partner. Like delivery. Okay. okay. Do you yeah, have yeah, like, that, that is we can do, right? Yeah, yeah, that is there. Even um, one of my customers are doing now, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, they have two uh, uh, shipping partners. One is Shopify, uh, sorry, uh, Seaprocket. And second one is uh, uh, Blue Dart they are using, right? So they have option where, you know, so all orders are pushing to Seaprocket and Blue Dart. So, so their like their uh, uh, like operation guy can you know uh, select though which which uh, like which order should be go through C procket or which order goes through uh, blue dot. So so they are also doing in such uh, doing in that way. It's it's completely different uh, like completely doable uh, that uh, we can customize because type of is built for customization. So anything. Uh, you want to build or anything your cus uh, customer wants, we can build uh, accordingly. So there is no restriction of doing that. Yeah. So any of your current customers are using this, or like you said, it's doable. So any of your customers are using this, uh, like no, that not automation in terms of like as you mentioned. Uh, so if minimum cost is for delivery is uh, go for delivery then see progress. So not not like that. They are using like they all the orders are pushing to. Uh, uh, that particular platform, that automation is there. Because even I, I was using a like e-commerce platform where uh, mm -hmm. the major issue was uh, the delivery uh, like charges. So the, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, some time the customers are paying more amount for the delivery than the product. So okay, okay because <laughs> uh, it's a startup, right? So uh, mm -hmm. so I was thinking like how to avoid all these things and. Uh, do you have some solution? No, we this? can discuss that. We we can uh, find out the solution. Ho see, so there is a many factor to do, uh, do this. Like, you know, uh, I have seen uh, many products where uh, it's a one, more than one kg, two kg. So it's a very challenging to uh, sell 
or uh, you know optimize their logistic partners because uh, if if you know the sea rocket so uh, they statistically you know i don't know they statistically do uh, like if they are getting benefit out of particular uh, delivery partner they are pushing particular uh, you know that delivery uh, partnership so this is how it works and if we can figure out like you know if if this is very less amount but services is not good then how how can you manage that right so this is how we feel if you do it so how many orders you are getting this is very important right uh, logistic is very critical uh, step to do because uh, this is cheaper but uh, but it's not up to mark and the services is not up to mark then how to handle that part yeah so yeah it's it's we can discuss like we can customize or we can do that there is no issue uh, i would say better to you know we can discuss this after this session and uh, discuss uh, deeply like how can we can do that uh, just okay. for curiosity one more question yeah uh, yeah what is approx uh, turnover of your customers like approx uh, approx turnover yeah so see like we you, have you brand that. yeah yeah so yeah. they they have they are monthly uh, uh 20 lakhs uh, the first one is approx 20 lakhs and the usual fashion was uh, more than that okay thank you Th thank you so much okay uh anyone else okay uh, how is it i different from the providers like web space kit so type of is uh, it's it's a now it's completely e commerce website uh, builder with uh, integration of payment gateways and logis logistic partner plus your marketing tools right uh, just like uh, i can say with the whatsapp tools like interact wati so any any what's of tools you consider like we can integrate that and plus uh, like we are helping uh, to build your complete i can say the experience uh, uh, websites whatever the reference you have whatever the uh, uh, dream of <laughs> you have designed right so we can do that so it's completely customizable website uh, platform so my number is here you can note down uh, and my email id also here i think any uh, anything uh, uh, like we can discuss about e commerce as i mentioned uh, the first priority is obviously e commerce then any your social media marketing or you any but we are not doing those services but i can guide because i have uh, more than 10 years of experience and in, uh, in uh, you know social media and uh, uh marketing and all so i i can help you on that part hey hi hello chan hi uh good morning good morning this is ashok from bangalore hi ashok yeah yeah it was really good uh, presentation okay uh <laughs> i i am i just curious about the very basic part are you i mean uh incubated with uh, atal uh, incubation center uh currently we are not incubated uh, in atal incubation center uh, okay so atal incubation uh, center is uh, you know we are partner we are so helping each other like you know helping startups the same mot motivation for us so we okay. how we can help uh, startups to grow and startups to sell online okay sounds yeah. good and coming to your uh, i mean uh, uh, typo yeah i pro how do you pronounce it type of type of okay uh, is it uh, i mean is your own product or you it's like uh, 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 ondc add about uh, the e commerce yeah yeah no this is our own product uh, okay. so uh, it's completely uh, built for building your own e commerce website right Okay. Uh, okay. So it's a web website uh, builder, I can say. Uh, not only website builder means you you don't have, 
like you can build a static website you build but that e-commerce functionality will be there so it's e-commerce website builder i can say okay okay yeah. when uh, when you're planning for subscription model we have subscription model so type of is completely subscription okay just tell me the pricing so we started uh, from uh, 1200 uh, so I can say uh, even uh, you can check my uh, type of dot com pricing. It starts from uh, twelve hundred per month. Uh, to yeah, that's like, for uh, that, that's for okay somebody who is uh, from, coming from outside. Uh, but mm -hmm. we are through webinar no at least. Oh, okay. Give us yeah, we price. we uh, so that's an offer. Like you can uh, uh, so in a webinar you can get you know completely. Uh, well, six months uh, or twelve months of, uh, of uh, like I can say that offer is there. You can check it out. Uh, like the first plan we have for free, you you can uh, register and you can use it. Okay, okay. And why the why I ask this because uh, from last three years we are with MSME. Okay. Uh, I also do like digital marketing. Uh, I must mm -hmm. have like uh, fourteen years experience overall. Wow. Uh, mm -hmm. I worked with uh, there's uh, uh, Sri Sri Shankar's uh, corporate wing. Uh, I used to handle their international social media and SEO. I used to do country wise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then nice. I just moved out from there. In um, 2017, I started my own venture. Wow. And we got mm -hmm. uh, best uh, uh, startup award in the year 2022. From okay. government of mm -hmm. Karnataka, mm -hmm. but, uh, because uh, there are a lot of MSMEs who are not uh, technically sounds good. Exactly, so they are uh, mm -hmm. lacking with the basic websites, and even I trained them. But people mm -hmm. are interested to get more into digital because we should have a digital shop also. Yes, as yeah. as the things are getting more into no, digital. No, yeah, as as I mentioned, right? Uh, if you are have long term goal for your brand or you are building a brand uh, for from india right you should have uh, yeah that's a basic website i can say the basic website means the functionality where uh, the customer can understand your product and buy from your website right so this is basic for me and this is where you can grow like you know uh, so if you are building a website on type of even uh, app, like once you uploaded your product and everything, the details about your brand, I think this is this will help you to grow because my platform help you on uh, SEO. Like if you understand, because I can you can relate, right? There is three type of SEO that on page and technical, then off page, right? So nowadays, yes. I would say if you are putting your title description uh, well and which is uh, keyword uh, the the keyword you are you want to sell right i think this is enough for any startup so to start with right you don't have to uh, spend on off page seo where you are building webs uh, blogs content is not required if if you are putting just your products and about your brand so this is enough for your brand so i i would say Every all the startups or MSMEs should have their own website with basic needs, right? So that people will discover and buy. People are looking for those products, but because they are not getting online, so they couldn't buy because you even they are not, uh, you know, uh, spreaded over all the India or they, they don't have stores. So even this is how they can get benefit. Even we are planning, right? If we have more than hundred uh, MSMEs or startups uh, building their website, we can have common platform where uh, all the uh, product they can navigate and they sell. Sounds good. We have a bigger vision, man. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Man. That, that's really nice interaction with you, Trilochan. I'll connect with you. So after this webinar, we can so, talk. So we can take it far forward. Okay. Thank let's, you. Let's also. Have yeah. a sure. uh, it was uh, present. I mean, it's glad to meet on the webinar. Sure, sure. Thank you, Sam. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Yeah. Anyone else? Uh, like. So any more questions from the participants?
the participants um hi uh, am hi. i audible yeah yeah yes, yes ma'am so i already have a website uh, built on uh, another host so how feasible is it for me to you know move it to your platform i would not want to recreate the whole website and you know mm -hmm. it's going to take a lot of time i believe mm, got it mm -hmm. yeah. no uh, we have uh, like let me uh, first of all we have to check that website how many products and what are the pages are there right the same uh, if you want to build the same layout and same structure we can uh, migrate to type of uh, so with same functionality and all so uh, should i send you an email with all the details and maybe we can yeah yeah so note down yeah obviously uh, note down my email id here trilochinarthetypeof.com so just email me uh, on what are the website like what are the products and what are the details about your website so i think my team will help you to figure got it thank you thank you so much thank you yeah okay anyone else yeah uh, so uh, participants uh, yeah we are even the details has already been shared here and uh, we would like to uh, uh, please fill the feedback form that is being shared in the chat box okay and uh, also to inform you all that uh, uh, we are uh, uh, organizing uh, uh, this online uh, uh, coffee exporters training program those who are uh, interested in that uh, uh, can uh, uh, kindly enroll for that uh, uh, program so it is going to start from uh, 12th of august uh, uh, till uh, 20th september so those who are uh, interested you can uh, kindly uh, uh, enroll for that particular program okay uh, so for more details you can uh, uh, kindly uh, check our website that is uh, aicccri uh, ced.in okay uh, so yeah uh, thank you uh, all for uh, being a part of this webinar uh, vaishnavi uh, so trilochan uh, sir uh, thank you very much for uh, thank you so uh, wonderful much. session okay uh, vaishnavi can you please uh, deliver the word of thanks Vaishnavi? Yes, sir. Yes, please. A very good afternoon, everyone. I extend our sincere gratitude to Mr. Trilochan for an enlightening session on market access webinar series. On behalf of AIC CCRI CED, we thank you for sharing your expertise and passion for entrepreneurship and providing insights about e-commerce and its potentials. Your invaluable contributions are deeply appreciated and we look forward to future collaborations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Sir. Thank That's, you sir. Yeah. Bye, yeah. Bye. bye. bye sir.